So for problem number three, where it says to consider the rational functions, and they give you f of x, g of x, and h of x, it says for each of the functions, describe which term is rational. So I know that rational means that it needs to look like a fraction. Well, taking a look, the only fractions that I see are these terms right here in each of the different functions. Now, one of the things to be careful with is that in this case, there's a minus sign. So that minus sign is actually going to be attached to this particular term right here. So actually writing what the answers would look like for this problem, I know that for f of x, I see f of x is right here. His circled fraction is 1 over x plus 1. For g of x, I see he's an entire fraction. So I'm just going to write 3x over x plus 2. And then for h of x, I see that we need to actually form an entire second part. So I'm just going to use the sentences that they gave me to help guide my writing here. The rational term is, and then remember we have to take this negative sign with it as well. So I'm going to say it's negative 6 over x plus 2.